Right, I don't know if that video came out that I'd done as I entered the gorse area. Um, I was just saying how it was very churned up that the cows can obviously get in there. The fencing was all down. Um, there's sheep there and I reckon the cows can get in here as well. There was evidence of some old cow pack, not ancient, a week, a couple of days even. Not that fresh though, more like a week. Um, sheep there and the cows are up there somewhere. Um, but it looks like I've made it over this field. <sighs> looks like I've made it over this one folks. Thank goodness for that, eh? Uh, something going on over there. Let me have a quick look. Men dip something or other. I don't really quite know what goes on there. Mend it recycling. Yeah, I don't know what they do over there. Maybe they're soaring up wood or something. Anyway, we got into this field with no trouble. And, uh, see this track here? This is what the cows use. The cows are very regular. And they do follow the same trail over and over again. Now I've got to get into a field over there to go through Longwood in a minute. I can't see a cow at the moment. Of course there's all, all still piney slights where the cows could be out. Right? Because of my knee, I'm not going to walk across the, the big open plain. I should go through the long sheep field today because my knee's a bit dodgy. That walk that way, it's all right if you come come the opposite direction but uh, it can be quite very quagmire-ish it's very bumpy very steep in places so I'll take the easy route today because we've had a nice walk we're on what's called the turn now um, we're not doing the whole of Longwood I'm just going to walk through the the valley of it that's the plan today and then I'm going to go um, through Piney Slates Farm, down through Cheddar Gorge, the easier route, and then back to get a bus. So there we go. Somewhere right up there the cows are with the sheep. Whether they're fenced off, they could be in a fenced area going all the way up there you see, for all I know. I don't really, uh, I don't quite understand that fenced area at all. I don't really know why they got that there and then poles. I don't even know if it's fenced off actually. Is there a fence there or is it just my imagination? Maybe they're going to plant trees there. Yeah, maybe they're going to plant trees. Anyway, I've got to get over a wonky stile now, I think. Unless I can just walk through. Let me have a look. If I don't have to get over that stile, I'll just walk through. Yeah, barbed wire's down. Aerials up there. Sheep and cows right up the top there. Right up on the hill. See them, look. Cows right up there. Long way off. I don't quite understand any of this here. Maybe it's when they bring the, sh the herd in. But it would have been silly of me to try and climb over that stile with all this fencing down, wouldn't it? I bet there's some people who just do it automatically. Would have, would have come across a field and just automatically climb the stile. Now there's a nice cloud there. I'm going to take a picture of with some sheep on the top there. Just turning off. Right then, so, this is a little cheddar road. 
goes past Tinian's Farm if you carry on that way and all the way down to the big Shipham Road. Um, the Shipham Cheddar Road this leads on to. This has been tidied up quite a lot. Cleared of debris. There could have been trees fallen here for all we know. Looks very tidy. Going down to Cheddar at Spat, a stream. Going to form link up with the river axe. And eventually this water will be going to Western Supermare. Imagine that. Yeah, they could have had a few trees down here, couldn't they? Yeah, this is, you can smell the garlic. You can smell the garlic here. This can be quite a muddy bit around here. I see they've planted in some more trees though. See, they've got some more trees planted, that's nice. Sign. I had to discover all these paths, you know, using the map. Trial and error. Yeah, I had um, discovered all this over the years on my own. Times I've videoed this bit. Quite a few times. I can remember once when the bracken was thick there, there were two ladies sat on a picnic. I didn't see them right away. They were sat in the bracken. I thought to myself, oh my god, ticks. Tick land, adder land. At least every plants are getting some water, aren't they? Little stream coming down this way as well. Yes, yeah, usually very mucky here. This is not, not uncommon for this area to be very boggy indeed. Like I said, I don't just show you all the plain bits. I, you've got to see that the walking includes all sorts of terrain. Oh, somebody took the barbed wire down at last. We've had to try and get over that so many times because there's barbed wire there usually and there's a, quite a bit of a quagmire to get up up this way and when I get up around the corner there'll be an, there will be a stile into a field which leads me to Longwood Sometimes I skirt the wood and I'll just walk across, straight across all the fields, come out near Black Rock. Sometimes I go in the wood, if allowed today, depending on if they're busy in there chopping, sawing or hacking. I usually have a little rest here. Drink of water. Take me hat off now, I think. It's warmed up. We're not on the top in the exposed area now. Still of a tricky style. Built by men for men to get your leg right up there. Right, I'm going to put the camera right up there while I get over. I get over this bit. And here I am, folks. Not a cow in sight. This is she 
trailer. 18th of March 2022 on a hike. Not long ago I was up there in the area of outstanding natural beauty. I've come through Road Barrow Warren. I came up the West Mendit Way from Winscombe where I got off a bus earlier. I've been out about four and a half, five hours now. So, we just climbed over that and sometimes I go straight across the field and I just do the fields. At the moment, not a cow in sight. Yeah, I was right up all up there not long ago after coming down through that those fields there and the cows were really high up once again. Good, now here's a path. See, you can just see this pathway going through Longwood. The photograph shouldn't be too bad today. I'm going to turn off for a second. I'll come back on when I get in the wood. Right then, at the style. I've got my stick. I might need the stick going through here in case it's boggy or slippery. No signs to say they're doing any work. No signs. So it's probably, probably, probably haven't done a lot. I would have thought there had been some trees down though after those four storms. But the thing is, Longwood, it is in a valley. And it could be that it was... It caught the tops of the trees, maybe. I've often wondered what this is, if it's an old drove, you know, down here, this open space with walls. I wonder what it was. Look at the ivy on that. Imagine that. They live in harmony, you know, this tree and this ivy. Beautiful, isn't it? Don't cut your vines, mate, do they? Beautiful big tree. And all the old walls covered in moss. Very soft moss. Don't look like they've done anything, if you ask me. But we haven't got down the bottom yet. I can hear water, so the stream must be quite full. This place will be transformed in the end of April, May and all these plants that are coming up with wild garlic and bluebells it's just going to be amazing it's an amazing colour scene here amazing look at these walls though I have talked about these places many times folks but this is a different year and they told us not to come in in the winter because they were doing stuff but look at the old branches. If, you, if I zoom in, look at those old branches that... No old branches covered in moss. Covered in lichen. A lot of history here, I expect. A lot of tales to be told. Hidden potholes, don't forget, as well. And it's nice to... F it's a great place to photograph when the sun is out, actually. You get the light. Look at the green on these walls. That old log there. God, it really has slowly decayed, that one. If you go back and look at my photos, look at that. If you go back and look at my photos from 10 years ago, or whenever I first came here, that log was here then. Full of nutrients, don't forget, for the for the, the wood floor, for the insects. Lots of history with all these wars and... <sighs> Someone told me there is a pot, another pothole around here somewhere. <sighs> it's created by the water. The water creates it. Soaking up into the limes, um, limestone. 
That almost looks like a teddy bear, doesn't it, that one? Yeah, like I said, I'm not going all the way up round it. I'm going to leave that for the next visit. I just want to walk through it today. That, I remember when that one came down. It has some beautiful fungi growing on that one. Different times.